Hi, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be the daily reading for Sunday, May 26th. So this is the daily tarot reading for Sunday, May 26th. Mm, let's use... Let's use a Light Sears Tarot. Just for funsies, something different. Oh, I forget who made this deck. What's her name? She made... Is this the Muse or the Light Sears? I think this is the Light Sears Tarot. The Muse one is like turquoise and coral or something. Can't remember her name. Anyways, let's see what we have. Spirit Guides, can we please get a reading for the daily love reading for Sunday, May 26th. I'm just letting you know, though, right now it's Saturday at around like 6 p.m. So this is Saturday that I'm doing the reading for Sunday. Sunday, uh, May 20. Spirit guys, can we please get a reading for love and romance for Sunday? Thank you. Ooh, the moon, the star, the devil. How sweet. The moon. This is both very nocturnal energy. Something's going down tomorrow night. Okay, so I don't know if it's like a date that you're going on or you're, I don't know going for a walk at nighttime and, and then they message you or something or you're thinking about them at nighttime and you can't sleep. The moon is all your hidden feelings, subconscious. And look how she's falling into the water. Like she's feeling everything deeply and it's so romantic and yet so heavy. You got the star card, which is speaking to a wish that she has. She's been waiting for someone hoping for someone, putting time into something, or she sees the value in someone, then she's she's got her, her string, her cord attached to this star. It's very beautiful. <clears throat> that wasn't what was on the back. Actually, the devil was on the bottom, I think. So the moon and the star, two major arcana cards. The stars. It's also for somebody who stands out. Healing, major healing, deep emotional healing. Maybe you're healing from a breakup. Maybe you're falling in love with somebody that you've been waiting for. I don't know. Let's see what else we get. Spirit guides, what else is there about this reading, please? What else do we need to know for Sunday, May 26th? What else do we need to know, please? Thank you. Lovely. Look at this beautiful Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups walking away and you're independent. Okay. Ace of Cups is inner peace and healing, self-love, an offer of love. And you got the eight plus one is nine. Nine, cup, nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. Now, but the Eight of Cups is shows her walking away from this cup that's offered into the sunset or into the sunlight. I don't know. It's like she's turning her back on her emotions, turning her back on a love. The funny thing is with this card, this cup is sunk. And this cup is still there with a fire lit like she burnt something, which is funny. Because you know what I've been watching? These cups shouldn't have fire in them. They should have water, right? And here it shows fire. Why would you have fire in this cup? Because you know when you do that practice of like having something written down that you want to get rid of or something and then you burn it? in something and that's a kind of way of making a wish or whatever it's almost like you're going after your look how she's holding that ace of cups at her heart chakra she wants her own self-love self-care peace something was very like emotional super emotional and there's this new renewed hope and faith and dream with the star card and so you see the eight of cups showing that not only did the person that she was dealing with, I don't know, it didn't work out for whatever reason, right? Whatever reason it was. And it was enough to make her want to write something down, burn it on fire, and put it in that other cup and walk away towards the light, which shows healing again, right? All right, what else do we have? Sunday. What do we have for Sunday, please? What do we have for Sunday? And I just want to take a peek. What's inside? Is that a heart? Okay, it's a heart in the in that cup. See, that's a heart in that cup. 
right, that she's holding at her heart chakra. And this one, she lit it on fire. Somebody's letting go, like for real, for real. Four of Cups. There's her cup. And look, it's being offered by Spirit. Okay, it's her own cup that's full. The same cup. And then now in the feelings with the Three of Cups there. Another major arcane on the bottom and the High Priestess Judgment. Do you see the freedom? Look, that's your spirit just like feeling liberated and free. I don't think this is you. I feel like this is the other person looking at you. Like, these cups are gone. They're spilt now. I mean, they're, they still have their cup. Maybe they wanted their freedom. They wanted to be single or whatever. But they miss you. Okay? The Four of Cups, like, they, they feel like they, they missed out or something. There's a feeling of missing. Judgment is showing <clears throat> a decision being made. Sometimes it speaks to somebody coming back from your past, okay? Because it's like raising the dead or whatever. So in love and romance, they'll say that they, oh, they're coming back with a judgment card. Because these two are giving different vibes. This one's giving the vibe of like, look at all the rainbow and beautiful energies coming out of the element energies, okay? Coming out of that cup that's being offered from spirit. Their cup is full and they might have wanted this. They walked away from this connection, but then now they're feeling bad. Like once the other person has like been like, okay, we'll see you later then. If you're not interested, then I'm gone. I, I, I don't want anybody who's not interested in me. And now the other person is all in their feelings. But the judgment card, I don't I don't know if they're, they're like upset that you don't care and you walked away and then now they want to come back or that, you know, they still feel like they're going to stand their ground like they did want to, you know, go on their own. Woo. And, you know, that they're, that's the decision they made. So Seven of Wands is blocking Ten of Wands. Like Ten of Wands is... Look, she's packed all her stuff up, stuff up and she's going somewhere. Okay, and this doesn't even look like luggage. This looks like goods that she's taking somewhere else. Ten of Wands implies hard work, achievement, success, and also just kind of like um, on this trip... Okay, because it always shows them carrying something point A to point B, where point B is right in sight, which is their home. And they can chill out and relax. It shows also 10 of Wands. It's completion number saying this is it. This is the end of that road, right? So it's showing 10 of Wands. Somebody was blocking. Again, you see this person's in their own like energy bubble. They're like, I want my peace. Look, the same hands here. Please. If you're not coming with something real, if you're not going to be straightforward, if you don't want to be vulnerable, if you're not open, if you're not worthwhile in the sense of sincere and, you know, decent, then I just want to be left alone. And so there's six wands here that are trying to get to her, but it's like she's built this now, this energy blocking bubble because it's just been too much with the 10 of wands. She's busy. Her hands are full. She's got a lot going on. There's no time to read hieroglyphs. Like I, I call it reading hieroglyphs when you're trying to figure out what someone's saying, doing, because everybody's weird and different. Some people are straightforward and aggressive. Some people are super shy. Whatever. Okay, so she she's, ends up blocking even new opportunities because she's just got too much on her plate to be, you know, having that kind of time to guess, right? Anyways, anything else for Sunday? Any other messages for Sunday? It's actually quite nice to look at this deck because the Fountain Tarot is quite moody. Everything is blue and gray and white. This one's so colorful. I like color, but I just, I don't know. I was so moody. I wanted to use the fountain for, for a while. Usually I, I don't like to use it. All right. Any other messages, please? Any other messages? Any other messages? Any other messages? Okay, almost, almost. There we go, six of pentacles. This fell at the side, so we'll look at it. 
You know how much I love Six of Pentacles. I have shit-talked Six of Pentacles to the high heavens. I call it the booty call card, the, the friends with benefits card, okay? Other people go, oh, they're working together, they're doing, and that's fine. Other tarot readers have their own energy that they channel and they feel and vibe with with a card. The only vibe I get with Six of Pentacles in love is we know each other, we're comfortable. It's a give and take kind of thing. During COVID, everybody gets Six of Pentacles. Everybody got Six of Pentacles during COVID because... You couldn't socialize or meet new people, so everybody went to Old Faithful, okay? Whoever that person was, something comfortable. And what I don't like about Six of Pentacles and love and mar marriage, love and relationship is there's always one person who cares more than the other person, right? And I'm speaking from someone who's been that asshole time after time, okay? Year after year, decade after decade, I have been that asshole. So when I see this card, it I don't like my tarot reader, water, whatever, viewers, watchers. I don't like you guys to be in this energy because speaking from the monster who did this to people, it's not, it's not a good situation, okay? One person has the upper hand. The other people are like just taking the crumbs. It's, it's breadcrumbing people, right? Or like you can, they'll even tell you, I don't see you like that. And then the person will go, it's okay. We'll just like, you know, still hook up or whatever because you know, I'm okay with it if you're okay with it. Like, I don't expect anything from you. And then you know they do. And you know they, they're waiting for you to lose an arm and a leg or some shit. But then you don't, right? And then they just keep on holding on. And then it becomes really toxic. Well, you have to eventually cut them off. So that's that's the Six of Pentacles to me. But whatever. Okay. Keeper of the Sacred fell on the flop, which is Hierophant. Uh, Taurus energy. Knight of Swords. The Magician. Eight of Wands. I like this. I really like this. This is somebody who's trying to manifest you. Someone very spiritual. Okay. And they're coming after, look, there's that motorcycle. There's that motorcycle. Remember the other freaking Knight of Swords? Another reading. I was like, I saw the Knight of Swords on a horse and I go, I just saw a motorcycle. Haven't used this deck in so long, but I think I used it for a Gemini. Anyways. Yeah. Look. Look at the speed with which this person is going after who they want. They have a plan. They have the tools. Magician. They are doing their fucking best They're to manifest that person. Eight of Wands. And look at how powerful their manifestation wish is. Ten of, ten of Cups. Happily ever after. From the Five of Pentacles. Okay. And I'm going to say this again. <laughs> I posted these two cards on my community. Whatever. I posted two songs. Five of Pentacles was the Turn Your Lights Down Low with Lauren Hill and uh, Bob Marley's son. I don't even remember his name. He gave her such a hard time. Fuck him. I don't care what his name is. Ten of Cups. I put Colby Kale or whatever her name is uh, with the Gold Mine song, right? So this is, this is beautiful. This person is manifesting, so they're manifesting the Ten of Cups where before it might have been this Five of Pentacles energy where they were blocking, and there's Empress Taurus, Empress Taurus energy again. But anyways, anyways, anyways. Six of Pentacles, something that was, you know, maybe in limbo. Okay, maybe they had a friends with benefits or something. I don't know, but look at all this that happens. This was on the bottom. Does that show? I hope it does, yeah. Amazing. So let's pull some love oracle cards. The candle just went out. So that's that's the sign. I said I'm going to make it short because it's just a, what do you call it, daily read. Let's just pull the romance angels. Oh my God. Wedding. All this came up. I'm not going to. It's, it's a hodgepodge here. Okay. Wedding. The situation in, involves marriage. Ten of cups. This is so cute. I find this unbelievable. Like everything's going down on a Sunday, like tomorrow. Are you serious? This is crazy. Any other messages? This is so fun though. I mean, I don't know who this is for, but this is so fun. Lucky you. Any other messages? Any other messages, please? Any other messages? All right. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now on the bottom. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So it's saying you have to decide, okay, between some something, two people, I don't know, whatever it is. There's some somebody you walked away from, right? 
for your inner peace, for your peace, you walked away. And then you're all in your feelings about some other love like in the star, somebody that you're wishing for or hoping for. I don't know. And there's a bit of blocking going on. Like if you're not going to be, you know, what I want, if you're not going to come since, and then all of a sudden we get boom, right? You let that door close and then boom, this happens like this. That other person is not worth it. You walked away already. Please, please stay gone. Stay gone. All right. Let's finish this with a journey of love. No, 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 no. Let's not do a journey of love. Let's do a... What do I feel like doing? I don't know. I don't know. Let's make it quick. Let's do whispers of love. I know it's a big reading. Like This is super sweet, but let's do a whispers of love and then one spirit card. Spirit guides, can we get one more love oracle message for Sunday, May 26th? I think it is. There we go. Listen with your heart. You're listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. And on the bottom, new love. Yes, I told you. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. That's why there's a decide. There's somebody else you need to release. It's not that you guys don't have passion or something for each other or whatever. It's just saying it never manifested to a full commitment because... It's that Six of Pentacles energy. It's the Six of Pentacles. That's why this, this went boom on the side. There was somebody that was just like around, convenient, comfortable, familiar, right? But toxic. Didn't work out. Okay, I think you closed the door on this. You're even closing the door on everything and blocking everything, right? Because there's Ten of Wands. It's just too much, right? You're just like, this is bullshit. I don't want to make, you know... Toxic people, my 24-7 job in life. I don't care. It's better to just have my peace and be single. And then, boom, this happens. Beautiful. All right. Finally, let's do a goddess card. Abiola Abrams, African Goddess Rising. Let's see what we get. Final card for Sunday, May 26th. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm going to go for my two-hour walk now, right after this, because that's... What I like, I like to listen to my mp3 player and go wander off, lose myself. So this is a great energy to end with. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you so much. Can we get a final card, please? One beautiful goddess oracle card for Sunday, May 26th. What message is there for whoever this is for? For Sunday, May 26th. Please, goddesses, what message is there for this read? For Sunday, May 26th. What message is there? What message is there for Sunday, May 26th? What message is there for Sunday, May 26th? What message is there for Sunday, May 26th? What goddess message is there, please? Beautiful goddesses. This is the Abiola Abrams, African Goddess Rising Oracle deck. Am I not supposed to use this deck? Am I supposed to use a different deck? Okay, I'll try three more times. One and two and three. There we go. Thank you. Grief. 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 Alleg alleg grief. This is saying cry it out or whatever. I don't know. There's grief over something. Somebody's sad. Somebody's sad. Okay. Over the breakup or whoever you left behind. I think they're sad and maybe you're sad to release them or you feel like you like abandoned somebody. I don't know. Grounding. Sauce. Sauce. Let's look at both. Look at how there's like this darkness and the light. Look at that. Do you see the grief and then the sunshine, right? Nighttime. This is kind of a sunset thing, but look at the difference in the light and the dark. Oh my goodness. Okay. 29. So 
So Allah says, goddess of grief, Igbo, Igbo Nigeria is where she's from. Temple is lovers. Element is bush. Ancient earth mother Allah is the foremost Igbo Alusi deity. That's what deity. Goddess Allah oversees motherhood, fertility, and the afterlife. After death, humans return to the womb of Allah, replanted in the soul to reincarnate. Her guidance, give spirit your grief. Ball it out, wail it out, cry it out, sob, shriek, shed tears, surrender it embodiment you are holding unprocessed grief you really are that's why you got the seven of wands you're blocking everything you want to skip over it and get back to quote normal end quote but grief doesn't go away because you ignore it the only way to healing is to walk through it losing a loved one is the ultimate heartbreak but you also experience grief after breakups job loss and disappointments self-love and self-care are required ask for support be gentle with yourself goddess declaration i am supported by my loved ones those who are seen and those who are unseen definitely you have something here that took a big drain on you right made you emotional and 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 in your feelings and sad it, it's and you let it go for your own peace this new love is happening so quickly like it's so weird but that's life that's life you know you can't time things like that. You don't know when somebody comes in and somebody goes out and you can't like put it on a schedule. So that's, that's, that's life. Three, Sauche, Sauche. It's uh, the god. she's the goddess of grounding from Cocoin, South Africa, temple ancestors, element bush. You may know great ancestors, Sauche or Sarji or Sarah Bartman. Oh, the hot and taught Venus. The woman forced to perform as the hot and taut Venus in 19th century London, but before that she was Sauche, a Cocoan girl in South Africa who deserved better. Sauche's guidance protect your magic. Your heart is your own. Your body is your own. Your mind is yours. Your truth and story are your own. Be rooted in your truth. Create healthy boundaries. Embodiment. Your energy is unsteady. Breathe. Come into the presence. Say out loud, I am here. Trauma, stress, overwhelm, anxiety, and fear disconnect you from your body. Grounding keeps you present. When you feel rootless or unsettled, come back to your breath. Meditation and breath work are grounding. Try earthing, connecting your feet to soil. Free writing, clapping, stomping, and rubbing your hands together are all grounding. Goddess declaration, I am firmly planted and deeply rooted. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I think about this. The hot and taut Venus was, you know, this African woman who was taken everywhere, showing her body off like she was some kind of freak of nature or something, naked to all these people in, I think it was England or something, you know, look at like her big butt, look at her big boobs and whatever, and like, you know, can you believe like this freak of nature, what she looks like, like that kind of whole deal, like acting like she's not even human. It was crazy. What I'm getting from this with the grief and with this goddess card is that I feel like whoever you're dealing with that you walked away from is going to be super bitter mad. And they're going to try to do some very vindictive things. I don't know if they've been secretly recording you or doing things, taking pictures or spying or hacking or whatever. I feel like this could have been something, this can be something where they get toxic. So maybe the advice would be careful dealing with this person. Be mindful. Like just, yeah, see this one? I, something told me to use this deck. It's Holocaust came out, the tower card. Right away. On the bottom is the Asylum, 54. 16, Holocaust. It's a tower card energy. Like something's going to blow up. This deck is so good. It's just, it just wants to play all the time. Let's, let's just go on. Like, you know, when the news comes out, when you find this new... Look, see? Do you see? Kali. Mean and heavy. This is Kali. Kali's energy. Goddess Kali. On the bottom, the Joker. Fresh start, clean slate. Do you see the destruction? I always say tower moment is like goddess Kali. And they're both here. Oh, someone's going to be mad. They said this is like the three of swords. Soma. On the bottom, pearls before swine. Exactly. It, obstacles with Ganesh. Oh my. I don't know about the Soma card though. They said that this is very mysterious too. It's like you can channel it in whatever way you see, however you see this, right? Um, and if that there's some riddle in your mind, like you can just kind of resonate with this, how you feel. But they said this pertains to the swords in the uh, minor arcana. 
and there's three of them. So three of swords, heartbreak. Somebody's going to be heartbroken when you, when you finally walk away and they're going to be mad and they're going to do something super toxic, talk shit. I don't know, do something underhanded. And I don't think like, I think it's not that powerful. I don't feel they're that powerful, but I do think that you're protected because you see it's pearls before swine. They weren't on your level. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say. That was something that resonated. That sometimes when you're like somebody with a big personality and you have been around, traveled, you're cultured, whatever, you can appreciate with life experience people from all different walks of life and, and different stages in their life and you can resonate with them at where they're at, right? That doesn't mean you're there at that same level. So when it's pearls before swine, I feel like you met somebody at their level, right? And you appreciate, because I can do that. I can appreciate somebody for where they're at. And you have a true sense of like, you know, like purity in that way of seeing them for where they're at and being able to enjoy and appreciate the simple things in life and where whatever that may be, whether it's a flower, a person, whatever, high or low or medium, whatever. But that doesn't mean they can, right? And so sometimes you get this kind of energy here, right? Okay, so Soma, I'm just going to look up that number 18. That that was the message. It was going, you were playing nice. You played with somebody. And it ended up not working out. Except you go on to bigger and better things immediately. And then they feel that they'll never have something like that again. And then it, it it's, you know, I call it the big egg cracking on your head and the fucking egg yolk falling down on your face. It, it's not a pleasant feeling. Not that you intentionally did that, but I feel like it's that. And then there's this vindictive energy because of grief and sadness. Three of Swords, grief. Soma, it says, this card relates to the moon. To the moon. Soma relates to the moon. You got two moon cards. Heartbreak, sadness, depression, isolation that's that's what it is i'm gonna leave it there because i'm not gonna read the whole thing if you want to google that those these cards this is the deck tantric ducky new oracle somebody's gonna be really sad they had their chance that's all there is to it and it looks like they take things badly just keep your cool all right that's your reading for uh tomorrow uh it took 27 minutes to do but it is what it is all right have a good day thank you for watching take care see you tomorrow bye